classes are not the next big thing they are the now big thing yes very much true so hello everybody welcome back to kingdom of learning so i think all of you must have known what is going to be the topic for today's video today we are going to discuss how to make the most of your online classes so actually the reality of the present time is that these online classes have become so important and the students are finding no way to come out of it whether they like it or they do not like it but they have to take these classes but another thing is that some students are not taking these classes seriously or even some are not able to understand means how to take these classes properly so today in this video i'm going to share some tips how to take the most advantage of these online classes so actually this is another fact that you all must be missing your school a lot means uh, basically you must be missing your friends you must be missing uh, that time of your lunch break which we which you used to spend with your friends that uh, means like snatching food from each other or finishing your lunch early in the morning in the first or second period itself or you can say that you must be missing some of you may be missing your teachers also that those lively classes are not there but still what can we do means there is no way to come out of this situation means it seems as if the situation is going to be it means it has been dragged on and it is going to be longer so we will have to do something so let's start what are the ways in which you can make your online classes most useful to all of you so we are going to discuss them so let's start so the first and the most important thing is that you do not have to take your classes lightly because you know more means uh, the results of the war are more disastrous than the war itself means at present we all are going through a war like situation we are fighting with this deadly disease called corona virus and there seems no way out of it right so till now means at the present phase we are fighting we are in the war like situation but the consequences of this war for students will be their exams so as soon as your schools will be opened and you'll go back to your schools definitely you will have to face the consequences of the war means you will have to face the exams and if you face the exams and if you will not take your online classes definitely you will have to face a lot of problem because you may be uh, behind your friends means if those who are taking these classes seriously those who are doing their work sincerely they will definitely do better than you so this is the high time that you should be alert now and start taking your online classes seriously don't skip any classes now our second thing is that you have to complete your assignments in time don't skip them for tomorrow because tomorrow never comes right so you have to do your work regularly and timely so that there is no backlog left for you when your school start because it will be too much work and you want to be able to complete that because you are going to face your exams immediately after that moreover these assignments are to be assessed for your internal assessment also so this this has been advised by the cbsc so don't forget that thing and take your classes very seriously and your assignments also now the third thing is that whenever you are taking your online classes always keep your mics mute means when the teachers are teaching if your mics are unmuted then it may create lot of problem for other people means there is so much problem of network so there may be certain sounds coming so you are advised to keep your mics mute so now we move on to our fourth point the fourth point is that you should always focus on the topic which is being taught means you don't have to get yourself distracted to other i mean social media and all because being a teacher i have also observed that class is going on and students are sending messages on whatsapp and nobody knows what are they doing they may be using certain 
modes of social media so that is exactly not allowed that is really very bad you are there for that work which is being taught by by your teacher and if you will not be listening to the teachers then definitely you are going to be a loser so now we move on to our fifth point so what happens that sometimes your classes may be very long so if you think that your class is going to be 2 3 hours continuously then always keep a water bottle aside means don't feel dehydrated means if you will keep sitting at one place for long time it may be uh, means it may be uh, harmful for your health so always keep a bottle with yourself and if the class is very long just take a walk in between in between you can stand up and you can take some walk in your room also another thing is i'm talking about your health uh, means health wise what steps you have to take and moreover these online classes may have some strain on your eyes also means if you are focusing on a screen for a long time you may feel that your eyes are getting tired and all so take 2 to 2 minutes breaks in between close your eyes in between and take some rest so that may may be useful to you so another thing is that whenever your classes online classes are going on always keep a pen and paper along with you because you never know when your teacher will ask you to note down something when you will be asked to write down something so it will be better to keep a pen and paper near you that will be help, helpful to you and it will save your time another thing that you have to keep in mind while taking these online classes is that you have to sit in a room that is quite separate means jo- just don't sit in a room where your whole family is sitting and all so this may be problematic because you may be disturbed you may not be focused on your classes and all so these are the points which you have to keep in mind while taking your online classes and the thing is that when you are doing something why not do it wholeheartedly why to put in half the efforts what is the use of putting half the efforts here i want to tell one thing that there is a chapter in class 9th the fun they had and in that chapter means very much we can relate to that story i'm not going to tell you the whole story link i'll provide in the description box they are those two means a brother and sister they were very much uh, surprised to see real books so last year only we taught that chapter and who knew that the very next year we would be in the same situation but we are still in a better situation and here one more thing i remember the diary of a young girl anna frank means those people also had to live in a lockdown rather they had to uh, live in a hidden place for 2 years so that story also you can read and you can relate to that that will be very interesting to means that that will provide you motivation how can you make the uh, most of these times so i think uh, these tips will be useful to you and i will just request you all to put in your full 100% attention to these classes don't skip them don't leave your work for tomorrow and if you are giving you have to give in half the efforts only if you are satisfied with half the result so i think all of you want to get your results 100% so for that you have to put in 100% efforts also so thank you for watching and if you found the video useful do share it with others also because i think it will be useful for all the students right now thank you